show, guys, the last couple of Studio Ghibli movies that I've talked about on here, I mentioned how I think they're either pretty good or not that memorable, but now we're going back to the ones that I think are absolutely fantastic with this one, Whisper of the Heart. I honestly love this movie, and it's one of my favorite Ghibli movies. I just think that a lot of what the last few movies have done pretty good at, uh, uh, he's done really fantastically here. It's like when I did my Heat Heat Delivery Service review, where I said the first time I saw it, it filled me, up, it filled me with so many emotions. And the same is true here. This was also directed by someone who was, who only directed this movie and no other one be, um, after he passed away. But he's pretty tragic. Anyway, this story for the for, anyway the story for this movie follows a girl named Sidney who 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 loves reading books and going to the library. She also just discovers that a lot of the books she checking out are being checked out by someone else and she begins to wonder who this person might be only to discover that it's someone she's beginning to get annoyed by. The guy's name is Seiji and the two of them begin to talk more and begin to develop feelings for each other. Not only that, but she gets to also begin to go out, go out into the antique shop and meet the owner there who's actually Shady's granddad and she gets interested in an old hat show there called the Baron and she decides she wants to write a, a, write a story about it. And that's really about it. There's some other details too, but most of the film is centered around Shady's who and Shady's relationship and Shady's who just desire to do writing. But what I think helps with that is that there's a lot of the mo moments in the movie that make it feel like a coming of age movie. She, she just really trying to find out what she wants to do with her life and she's also comparing herself to other people that she knows and some uh, act like some of her friends and uh, others out there and so there's a lot of moments that kind of feel like it's centered around her mind and how she's beginning to change with her friends and all that because she's a teenager. It's kind of like what I said in my, in my only yesterday review, where I feel like I can relate to that and I can totally understand when it comes to not knowing where you want to go with your life and the different things that are happening and how you process them. But the other aspect of a film that are really great to is uh is uh Shigetsu's relationship with JG and her family and how nice a lot of them are and she even begins to develop a relationship with Shigetsu's granddad and it's really sweet. It's also just nice to see the two of them talking and how she begins to get a lot of her ideas from being around there and what the, and yeah, just all the things that Shigetsu uh, Seiji and her granddad talked about is really nice and it just helps a lot of them begin to grow and mature with their mind. And so it's just a really nice way to, um, so it's just really nice. And it's also nice when she begins to write her story and we sort of see how she imagined it in one instance. And it's cool to see that she imagined talking to the Baron and so on. But, you know, they actually made a sort of sequel spin-off movie thing with the Baron in a later movie. We'll get to that film later. Her, but it's cool if they took something small from this movie with the Baron and just decided to make something else with them. But back to this movie, I just love uh, Shigetsu's development for the film since we see her develop different feelings and we see how they come about in various ways and how they... And yeah, it's just really nice to watch. Is it best 
Do we know to watch at the start when she tried to help her friend and the two of them begin try to learn the song but she just wrote herself and it's not how even she experienced she had some inspiration for her and she begins to grow from it. And yeah, at the beginning it's all you know, kind of nice when her and her friends begin to talk about like, who, they're, who they're beginning to like and how they be kind of processed and how it's not really easy for them to go through and all that. And again, it just helps make the characters feel more real. Again, how Ghibli usually does the kind of thing that's great to watch and seeing how she grows is really well done. You can also even see this as kind of a tragic thing because she's also trying to, she, she's also comparing herself to other people and thinking she's not good enough. So a lot of the, the other things we see is just how she processes that as well and yeah, it's just kind of sad to watch it at Hawaii well. Really, I just think the main thing I like here is just the relation just that build here and how she get to learn from them and each of them and begin to take inspiration from a lot of things as well. It's honestly really relatable to me personally in different ways like I said and yeah, it's just really nice to watch. And the ending is also nice to work Sid who is able to meet Seiji again and they have a nice moment together and he feels like he knows what he wants to do with his life. Really guys, I just find that to be a to be a lot like he he delivery service where a lot of this feels like very mundane things that maybe don't amount to that much, but it still holds it extremely well and how and yeah, like I said a lot already, how she gets to learn from everything and learn more about her, what she wants out of life and everything else. It's just so fascinating to watch and I love this movie. The animation is also a bit like Rave of a Firefly, where everyone and everything just moves like real people or things and so it makes everything both character do and go through feel very real. The English job is also perfect here. Brittany Snow and David Gallagher are both fantastic as CG2 and CG. Actually, before this, I only knew them as Nominee and Ritu and Kingdom Hearts. And, so it, and this is the second real thing I've seen them do outside of that. And they're both really incredible in the Road. And everyone else did a great job too. Really, I just think this is a great movie that, again, just shows more and more why Studio Ghibli movies are so, so, so good. And I highly recommend checking this film out if you haven't. So, yeah, guys, that's my review for Whisper of the Heart. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all like this video. If you did, then please like this video. Please comment down below to tell me what you think. Please follow me on Twitter at Daniel Maloney. Hey, hey, and Disney fan writer, Kingdom Hearts and Disney. Please every day. And if you know someone who might like my content and just like what I do in general, then please help share my content in any way you can to help my channel grow. And I'll see you all next. Time. Take care.